Hello everyone, how are you? I hope uh, you're learning well. And in this video, uh, we'll see a little theory about a 3D convolution neural network, and also we'll see how we can implement uh, 3D CNN for action recognition from videos. So this is a 3D CNN network model, which uh, I got this from this paper, Sequential Deep Learning for Human Action Recognition by Mois Basoshi and Frank Mamelet. So this is a uh, general 3D convolution neural network and how it looks. We'll have an input as a video. We'll perform a three dimensional convolution and the intermediate convolution, rectification and pooling layer, they will also be in 3D shape. And as such, it will move forward and give the classification. So uh, if you see uh, this is a 2D CNN network and you see this is an image and the image is two dimensional just a single frame and the filters the convolution kernel this small uh, blue color this is also a two dimensional this filter scans over the entire image and it produces the feature maps and which then goes for pooling then fully connected and we have classification. So what happened in uh, 3D CNN the input uh, what the input we have is actually a volume of data it's not a two dimensional data it's a three dimensional data we have input image and we will have such set of frames over the temporal dimension and the convolution kernel the filter that will also be a 3d kernel it won't be a 2d kernel as in this case of 2d cnn so this is how a general 3d cnn will look we'll have an input video and the each of the feature maps they will also be a 3d volume they won't be a single as you see here the feature maps where there are uh, five feature maps each are two dimensional and here there are around three uh, seven feature maps and each feature maps is a volume of data and same uh, for pooling we perform a 3d pooling and then goes the classification or uh, to give a little bit more clear understanding i have made a small ppt you can uh, look at it so let me run this so you see this is my kernel okay sorry so this is an image two dimensional image and this is my two dimensional kernel so what how the convolution operation is performed is this one will move to the first position and it will compute uh, one output it will perform sum of products and will compute the first output then this filter will slide next and it will compute the next output then it will slide it will compute the next then the next and in this way it scans over the entire image and produce the uh, output of this layer okay so this was for 2d convolution for 3d convolution we will have a this as an input data as i said uh, volume of data and we'll have a three dimensional weights so will this 3d weights will move here and they will perform the same convolution operation but in a three dimensional manner and they will scan over the entire image and produce a feature map one uh, one frame of a single feature map then this filter will slide back you know for the uh, uh, and this sliding back will depend on the stride you are giving if it's one stride it will move one frame back if it's two two frame back and then it will scan over the entire image and produce the next feature map so this is the next one and this is the next one so you see uh, using suppose i have a uh, uh, what to say three frame input kernel then it will use first three frames to produce the first frame of the output then it will use the next three frame to produce a second frame of the convolution uh, what to say second frame of one feature map of the convolution there then it will take the next three frames and compute the third one so in this way uh, the 2d and 3d uh, convolution take place and this was just a little bit theory and now let's delve into the uh, practical the coding part how we can do it so in this what i have done is uh okay let me go here so you, this is a series of steps that you have to follow for uh, setting up your 3d environment in python what you do is you need to create a new virtual environment for this then you have to install theano and then we have to install uh, one ver another different version of Keras by Minas Palasara and actually in the current version by this one you see the normal 
if you see the normal keras github if you type uh, okay keras github so you get this one by f call it so in this also he have provided the layers for 3d cnn but uh, in this by this one okay okay let me go here okay so this fellow minas palasara so he has also given the keras library and also the example of a 3d cnn you see shapes 3d cnn dot pi so we will install this and so you know the procedure you can follow the previous videos of how you can install from github this is the link of the uh, library and this is directly the site that uh, git site so i showed you here you need to just type this one minas plasara keras you uh, download this keras you just clone it from here just copy this site and from your command prompt download it and once you are done with it then uh, we can look into the code of how to how to say run this 3d cnn and this will do in the next video we'll see how we can run a 3d cnn example given by minhas palasara okay so uh, watch the next video for the codes